okay everyone welcome back to another video on the channel today we're back on gt sport and i'm back with a different type of video today because i think there is it's clear that people are not happy with this daily race situation with just three races on for a week we're now on day number four or five i think it is of this rotation and i i think it's it's just too much i, I can't i can't play these tracks with only three um, variations for more than a few days it's become too boring last night i did i think four races on the daily race b to try and get my driver rating as close to 75k as possible it's very close now but once i'd done that and i'd had two fairly good wins i thought i just i didn't want to play them anymore i don't really want to do the group three race. i've done the group three race about four or five times not really worried about doing that again um i think this has just gone too far now by leaving it on for a four week rotation. I think they need to, there needs to be more variety if they want to do this week um, rotation system. I think there's a few different variations of how they can fix this. Um, I don't know what went through their mind or when they were planning this, What who thought this would be a good idea. I can understand that some people are saying it's okay for them because they're only going on the game two to three times a week and it enables them to race these tracks. Well, that's fair enough for them people, but we need variety for the people that are playing this more than you know twice a week because they're your core players the core players are the most important players to you to, as a developer you need to be making sure that these people are happy now i've got a few ideas of what they could do for extra races now one of these one of these track varieties we could have on a weekly rotation basis would be a 40 minute endurance race very similar to the i racing way that they do their vrs series it's now called so a 40 minute race it's not restricted by laps it's restricted by time so once you go over the line if it's not reached 40 minutes then that final lap after it hits 40 minutes will be the final lap of the race um i think this would be a good idea because you, you, you've got the ability to race a bit longer. You know, it's not too long. 40 minutes is a nice length um, for a bit of an endurance race. Now, keeping the tyre wear and the fuel wear on times one, um, what they could then do is obviously a grid start if they wanted to with the false um, start check. I think that'd be nice for people that want the more simulation aspect. Obviously, we could do a rolling start as well, but I'd like to have a manual way if they were going to do that. Um, starting fuel, 50 litres. If you start on 50 litres, I mean that you might need to lower that but i'm pretty sure that if you start a, a gt3 car for example on 50 liters they're not going to get to the end of 40 minutes of driving i'm pretty sure they would need to refill up for some form of fuel you know based on average track say about 3.5 liters of fuel a lap something like that, three liters a lap they're, they're going to need to go in for at least you know 20 liters of fuel or something like that um i know when i recently start about 55 to 60 liters and then you need to pit a sometimes about 15 litres or 20 litres but because it's on times one fuel the rate of fuel you know it's going to take you a little bit longer to fill up and um, so and obviously on gt sport you're probably going to be best to change your tyres anyway in the pits because it only takes five five three three to five seconds to change your tyres but i would obviously leave the racing hard tyres on now if you wanted to adjust this and have times two or three maybe times three tyre where you could maybe allow the medium tyres on as well as the hard racing tyres on it would be um obviously they'd need to experiment with this i might experiment with that um after the fia is finished because if they haven't changed this by the end of the fia i'm going to start experimenting with different ways to do stuff and obviously try and bring some um different racing to the channel with private lobbies because free races in my opinion is not enough they they need to do something like what I've just said with that as a weekly race. Um, I've heard some people mention that we could have the three daily races like we used to have every single day and then have two weekly races. That is also an okay idea. I don't mind that. You know, If you had the free rotation of tracks that used to change every day, keep them rotating every day and then have two um, endurance-based races. That's fine by me. Another option would be keeping, obviously, if you if they don't want to do that, if they want to keep them weekly, um, maybe five to seven races. And you could have like... What we've got now with the three races on screen there, but you could also have another race very similar to the daily race C um, that gets rid of the fuel saving. Just keep everything the same as it is, but have times one, times one fuel and times one tyre wear and just let people race for the, say, 20 minutes. Um, no worries about fuel. Obviously, you could still have um, the daily race C, but obviously change the track for the other variation. So you've got a different track, but with more of an aggressive pro approach to the driving. Um, and then you need one proper endurance race, at least, um, which what I just said before, at least 40 minutes. You could maybe have it an hour long, depending on um, 
how how you wanted to do. But I think 40 minutes is about right. I think if you start going to an hour, you're going to find that a lot of people will, especially on console, a lot of people are not going to race it and you're probably going to have quite a low participation. I think 40 minutes is pretty much perfect. I think you're going to see people think, oh, it's not too long. I can do that. And what we could do as well in this 40 minutes is we could have a 10 minute qualifying before rather than um, having you know the mainly race qualifying structure we have now where we're qualifying within a time trial situation i think it'd be nice to just group the people in the lobbies obviously it won't change what rate um who you're grouped with in the races um just do it the fia way where we have 10 minute qualifying so it works out about two to three laps worth of qualifying and then we go into the race with a 40 minute race i think it'd be so much nicer to be able to do that and i want to be able to race in these races i, I I'm really bored of it. It's starting to get boring with this fuel saving and all that. I think people want to drive aggressive. They want to drive fast. Um, we can keep some of the fuel saving. Maybe have two different endurance races. One based on um, like higher race rates of um, tire and fuel wear. One based on realistic settings. So people can just race hard and push like they would be pushing in real life. Um, I think that's what a lot of people want. And I think it's something that needs to happen to the game because... A lot of people have been saying now they haven't played the game now for three or three, four days, pretty much since the first day of the track rotation. A lot of people probably played the new track, got you know enjoyed it, played um, the daily race B, and they've not got back because they don't want to race it again. A lot there's so many people that won't do you know won't race things over and over again. I've raced it quite a few times. I'm not the most. I don't really like racing the track too many times, but I've raced uh, I think daily race B now about six to seven, maybe eight times and daily race C about five times and uh, that's me done I, I, I really don't want to race them anymore and um, obviously I want to practice for the FIA as well um, for me personally once the FIA, FIA starts it's going to be kind of a little bit better because I'm going to be able to have four races uploaded a week and I'm going to be able to do four separate races in them so I'll be practicing for them and then I can just do the daily races but I think for the people that aren't bothered about the FIA series need to be considering them as well because it's like for me it personally feels like they're saying right well we don't care about the people that are not interested in the FIA here's free races race them all week if you don't like it they're going to end up going to another game or moving on to something else because it's, it's just it's just too limited free races is not enough variety um, I'm sure there's enough people playing GT Sport to cover more than free races and you know I ra for example I racing they have 20 to 30 probably varieties of tracks because they've got obviously the road base and the oval base they have it's they separate it on iRacing and um, you have separate licenses for each and obviously you know, the oval races in general a lot more americans the track based road racing is a lot more europeans but then obviously you still get a mixture in both but you have such a variety but I, i'm pretty sure that gt sport will have a higher player base on GT Sport and iRacing. On iRacing when you log on you have about 1500 people playing, between 1500 and 3500, something like that, sometimes a bit more, sometimes less. But these races have always got people in them um, and there's massive variety. Some tr some of the like the track combinations aren't as popular but you don't need 20 variations on G GT Sport, 5 to 7 variations and I am pretty sure you'd be filling up these races every single time. Especially if there was an endurance race, I think um, a lot of the higher ranked drivers who pretty much only race the FIA races would start racing some of the um, daily races because there are obviously there are a lot of drivers that still do it. Like you see TRL Org, you see a lot of these drivers in the daily races. But there's some drivers you very rarely see doing these daily races because it's not as exciting for them. And um, I think we need something to bring people back to the daily races. And this is where my you know. We could always have the daily races, you know, I've said about the idea that someone said about how keeping the free daily races the way it used to be. Every change in every single day and then having two maybe endurance races at least um, that change on a weekly rotation basis. Now these weekly rotation bases, races that change on obviously that basis would possibly have, you know, would it be possible for them to add a mini championship to these, just a friendly based championship, you know, every week you can enter as many as you want just like i racing you it picks out your three best scores depending on how many races they could do some sort of like algorithm for it so it, it if you race 30 times it reduces your score obviously because you've raced so many times you're bound to have more points and um, that's what i racing does and then at the end of the month every month have like a little leaderboard that shows everyone's you know points tally for the month 
um, just a little friendly you know competition for the monthly you know just to keep people racing and something you know bragging rights it's just something there you could split the divisions up um, like for S rated S rated and A plus rated drivers in one division and then B rated drivers in another and um, even though you could all still be racing together it just then gives each individual license something to aim for every month and something to race for and I think it would get people racing these races a bit more also you know the 40 minute races I, I personally think the 40 minutes would be the best idea because I think if you start going to a, an hour long race I think you would find that a lot of console races won't do an hour long race I think it's harder to get these these people to do it but I think a 40 minute race is a little bit different I think I think a lot of people would be interested with that especially if you incorporated the FIA qualifying into that so your you know your time trialing qualifying wasn't you know it didn't make any difference that was just there for practice because I think if it was just a case of you qualify on the lap that you do before the lobby it would make no difference to the matchmaking because the matchmaking is purely based off your driver rating and your safety rating it has no relevance to your qualifying time that you post even though there are people out there that still think that your um, qualifying time dictates way which race you get put in that it has no relevance um, it's all down to your driver rating and your safety rate and which lobby you get put in so maybe they could add that in there I'd like that you know it would make it a little bit more intense before these races you know to you wouldn't know where you'd be starting because as soon as you've put up a good qualifying in these daily races at the moment you know you're starting at the front of the grid and you know it's going to be easy and um, what well, easy-ish and you know you're going to have a good you know pretty much a good race but if they add this you know a little bit of variety in they're saying right you're going to have to qualify for these races so it's a little bit of pressure and um I think that would be better, I think it would be more enjoyable to have a proper qualifying session before a long 40 minute race or something like that. But let's see what they do because this is polyphony, they don't seem to do things the best way all the time. It will be interesting to see if they actually do this time, you know, if they listen to people because at the moment the current system is not working, it's clear as day, people have stopped playing the game. I've seen so many comments on Twitter and on my YouTube channel about people saying that they, they played the tracks the first day they've not been back on and this is the worst thing you can have in, in a, any racing game really because as soon as you stop playing any game whether it's a shooting game or a racing game there's a lot of people that will just start playing something else and then they'll get into that and they won't come back to it I think they need to fix this before it becomes too late because you know leaving this like this situation with the, the daily race situation as it is today now on a weekly basis with three variations they're running the risk of um, losing a lot of people that just will just move on and just not play the game again so let's hope this is fixed very soon i'm hoping they do this within the next two three weeks or something like that change it and um, because i can only imagine what sort of you know reaction they're going to get if they you know they they're going to have to add daily race c as an oval race at some point in the future now if they're planning on keeping this with a weekly system with just three variations of track this could be a disaster because I would not even race. I probably wouldn't even do one race on an oval. I might do one. Uh, I can't race an oval for a week. It becomes so boring. I just could not do that. And um, there will be people out there that will be like, "Yeah, that's great. I, I love the oval racing." And there will be a few. That's why we need the variety. You know, because I can I can tell you now, there'll be a lot of people that will just move on it and play something else if if they end up with an oval for a full week. So let's hope they they think about what they're doing. Let's hope they. Don't do anything stupid with the daily races like putting two ovals on there um, a daily race B and a daily race C oval because this is polyphonic who knows what they'll do and um, I just hope that they, they think about what they're doing and um, they listen to the community because there's a l so many people that are just not happy with the way they have they've done these daily races uh, let's just let's just all hope you know if we all put the comments into the forums and let people know they will hopefully pick up on this and it will get sorted anyway hope you enjoyed the video make sure you leave any comments in the comment section with regards to your ideas for what they could do to the daily race system whether it be you know two races three, you know whatever ideas you have leave it in the comment section and you never know someone might pick up on it and put it in a forum um, be great to read i want to read to see what other people think about this i know there's people out there that have no issues with this weekly system and um, because they only play the game twice a week but that's why we need variety because there's a lot of the majority of people that are still playing GT Sport play it more than once, you know, more than once or twice a week. So 
just make sure you leave a comment let me know what you you think should be changed and um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you agree with what i'm saying about the variety um i, I think that a lot of people are going to agree with this i think most people i've seen are agreeing with it um, and i'll be back with more videos very soon hopefully um a different type of race tomorrow it won't be a daily race obviously because there's just no variety in the daily race so I've got a race to upload with TRL Lightning from a practice session for the FIA that I've done. Um, it's very interesting. Um, it's on the new tyre model. He obviously hadn't had that much practice, so he was probably a little bit off speed, but I think the new tyre model is really helping myself out. Um, from all the races I've done so far, it seems to be helping my, myself more than the old tyre model. Um, it's a really good race. Probably one of the best races I've had on the game so far. It was just so intense. Um, I think you, you're going to really enjoy this race. So make sure you leave a thumbs up and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And click that notification button so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks again for watching, everyone.